Hey there, kindergarten. It's Ms. Murphy here, and I'm super excited because today we are going to do a writing lesson together, and we're going to learn about a new type of writing that I think you're going to find is a lot of fun. Let's get started. So today we're going to learn about something called creative writing. Now, sometimes people use different names to talk about creative writing, but basically it's when you make up a story out of your own brain, right? So creative writing doesn't have to be about something that really happened or even about something that could happen, right? You could write a creative writing piece about an animal that's not real or about a monster, or you could write it about something that could really happen, but it hasn't happened to you. So, we're gonna watch a quick video to learn a little bit more about creative writing. Um, so listen closely, and then we're gonna get started trying our own creative writing. Okay. How to write an imaginative narrative for kids. Episode one, what is it? An imaginative narrative is a genre or type of fiction writing. The word imaginative means using your imagination, and a narrative is a story. So when you write an imaginative narrative, you use your imagination to write a fiction story that could not really happen in real life. This genre is also sometimes called fantasy. Let's look at a few books and decide if they are imaginative narratives or not. The Lonely Unicorn. Is this an imaginative narrative? Yes. Unicorns are pretend creatures, so I know that this is a fantasy story. How about this book? All about dogs. Hmm. That doesn't sound like a story, does it? This sounds more like an informational book that teaches you facts. What about Monster Monday? Someone definitely used their imagination to write this story, didn't they? A day at the beach. Hmm. This looks like a story, but it seems realistic, like it could really happen. So this is not an imaginative story. Are you ready to start writing your own imaginative narrative? Check out the next episode to see how I begin brainstorming ideas for my story. Okay, scholars, so in this video, um, the person talking is telling you about imaginative narratives. Now, that's a big word, right? But in the video, she explains that you're using your imagination, right? It's imaginative because you're using your brain to come up with ideas. And the word narrative means a story. So you're coming up with a story in your brain. Now, in the video, she talked about the genre of fantasy, which means you're making up stuff that couldn't really happen in the real world. But we can expand that to also think about things that could happen, but didn't happen, and you're making up the story. Okay, so before we get started with our prompt, we're going to go through some of the steps of creative writing today. So our first step when we write creatively is to brainstorm. That means that your brain is coming up with a bunch of different ideas that you might want to write about, and you're choosing which ones you like the best and planning. Step two is you're going to decide what happens first, right? When you start writing your story, you're going to need to decide on what you're going to write down first. Step three is you're going to write down your first idea. And step four, you can add more to your story. So you can keep on looking at your list of brainstormed ideas and add more of them if you would like. Okay, so we're gonna get to practice this today in our reading workbook. So it says ELA workbook on the front. Go ahead and find your workbook. And um, if you need a minute to go find your workbook, you can hit pause and hit play when you're ready to go. You also need a pencil and you can bring crayons to color with. Okay, so please turn to these pages in your ELA workbook. It says flying with balloons and there's this picture on the top. Um, and then there's another picture that has, um, or there's another page that has a blank spot for a picture and more lines for writing. 
hit pause if you need extra time to find these pages. Okay, so we're gonna get started with step one. So our prompt today is flying with balloons. I want you to take a minute and close your eyes. Are they closed? So that you can create a mental picture of what I'm describing to you. Imagine that you have a huge bundle of balloons and you grab hold of it and you start floating up into the sky with these balloons. They're carrying you up into the sky like you're flying. Okay, go ahead and open your eyes and take a look at the picture on the page here. We're gonna brainstorm some things that we would want to see or do when we're flying away with balloons. Okay, so that's why this, this is like a made up story, right? Because you probably couldn't actually fly away from holding balloons, but it's a fun story to use our imagination to think about and write about. Okay, so while I'm brainstorming, I'm looking at this picture for ideas and also thinking of my own ideas. So I see a picture of a bird. I'm gonna circle that bird because this gave me an idea. I think when I'm flying in the sky with balloons, I want to try to race a bird in the sky, see who can fly faster. Hmm, what else? So I'm circling that bird so that I remember my idea. I think also when I'm in the sky, I wanna see people in a plane and wave at them with my, with my balloons in the air. So I'm gonna draw a picture of a plane because I don't see a plane in this picture. So, oh, there we go. I added my own picture of a plane because that's my idea that I'm brainstorming. So take a few seconds, you can pause the video and draw or circle some ideas that you wanna write about doing when you're flying with balloons. When you have brainstormed a couple of ideas, hit play when you're ready to move on. Okay, so we've brainstormed some ideas and now we're on step two. It says decide what happens first. Okay, so we are gonna use this sentence to start our story. It says, if I could fly with balloons, I would blank. So you can pause the video and copy down this sentence just like it is. If I could fly with balloons, I would. Once you copy down that sentence, we're going to think about what ideas we will fill in first. So go ahead and pause the video and write down the start of this sentence. Hit play when it's all written down. Okay, so here's where you have to decide what you want to do first. So you've probably come up with a couple of ideas during brainstorming. During my brainstorming, I said that I would like to race a bird and I would like to wave at people who are flying in an airplane. I think I want to race the bird first though. That's my first um, project. So choose what you want to happen first in your creative story. And now step three is to write down your idea. So we already have our sentence started. So far the sentence says, if I could fly with balloons, I would. Okay, so now I'm gonna take out my pencil and I'm going to write the rest of that sentence for my story. So my idea is race a bird. So my job is to tap it out and write down that idea. So race. Okay, so I hear the r sound at the beginning. So I'm gonna write r. Ray. I hear a. Race. I hear the sound, which I know S makes that sound. So I'm gonna write S, race. Okay, I'm gonna leave a finger space because that I'm done with that word. So I'm gonna put my finger on here and then move to beyond the finger. Okay, race a bird. Okay, so A is a sight word. I know that that word is just A, race A. I'm gonna leave another finger space. I think I'll get to the next line because I need more room. Bird, B, B. B, bird, bird, I hear er, right, R, bird, d, what sound do you hear at the end of bird? D, d, right, so I'm gonna write D. Oh, and I can't forget to write 
a period at the end of my sentence so that my reader knows that my sentence is over. Okay, fabulous. So take a second, pause the video and tap out the sounds for your first idea, right? So your sentence should say, if I could fly with balloons, I would, and then you're gonna say the first thing you would do. Pause the video, hit play when you're done with your first sentence. Okay, we are moving on to step four. Step four says, add to your story. So we picked our first idea, but I'm sure that you had plenty more ideas of what you would like to do if you could fly with balloons. So you can keep adding to your story on the next page. There's an area where you can draw. Drawing might help you brainstorm. So if, if you wanna draw a picture of you with the balloons doing one of the things that you wanna do, you can do that first and then down here, I have some sentences that might help you come up with ideas. So you could say the sentence, I would also blank to give another idea of what you would do. You could also use the sentence, it would feel blank to tell about how you would feel if you got to do this, right? So I'm gonna give you an example of how I might tap out my ideas and write them down but you get to come up with your own ideas and write them just like I did on this paper, okay? So I would also, okay, I'm gonna write that I would also see a plane. Um, so let's see, I'm gonna tap it out. Remember, you can copy down the beginning of the sentence and then fill in your idea using your letter sounds. So C, oh, C is a sight word, C. S E E spells C C. I'm gonna leave a finger space. A, uh, another sight word, right? A. Plane. 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 Okay, so I've tapped it out. I'm gonna write down the sounds that I hear. I know I hear p at the beginning. P -o -p -o L, pl play, A, write down A, plane. What sound says N, N, fabulous. And I'm gonna put a period because that's the end of my sentence. So use your kindergarten spelling to sound out the words for your next idea. I bet you have a really cool idea to write down. Go ahead and pause the video and you can fill in another thing that you want to do. You could say, I would also, and fill in another idea. Or you could use this sentence right here that says, it would feel, and then fill in how it would feel to get to do that. So pause the video while you do your work and then hit play when, you're compl when you've completed your story. Okay, great. So we made it through step four of our creative writing process. And now we're gonna check our writing because good writers go back and check and make sure that they've um, written everything the right way. So first of all, we wanna make sure we use a capital letter. So at the beginning of our sentence, we started with a capital I, right? For if I could fly, go ahead and make sure your I is capital too. We also wanna make sure that we use finger spaces when we write. So after every word that you sound out, make sure you put your finger on the paper and leave a space and then start writing again after your finger. I think I left some good spaces here, so I'm gonna give myself a check. I can sound out words. So make sure that you used your, le your letter sounds to write down the words that you came up with, okay? You can go over the words and see if you can read them based on your letter sounds too, to check. And we want to use punctuation, right? That means that we're putting a period, exclamation point, or question mark at the end of every sentence so that the reader knows that the sentence is over. I put a period at the end of my sentences, so I'm gonna give myself a check. After you've edited your writing and checked to make sure that everything is good, have someone at home take a picture of your completed work and send it to your teacher because we would love to see the story that you came up with for your first creative writing assignment.
All right. Well, thanks for learning with me today, kindergarten. It was so much fun. I hope you enjoyed getting to write creatively. And I will see you next time. Bye.